All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do some 4v4 arena between me and the viewers. I've been playing as the Britons this game because this is the second time I've tried to actually get everybody to load and not DC, so... I ran the Britons last time, so we're, we're rolling with it, we're rolling with it. I mean, I ran the Britons all the time, so... Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You guys in the Twitch chat, am I crazy, or is this the exact same map generation as the last map? What? This, I swear, I swear this is like an identical map to the last map that just loaded, which DC'd almost immediately by the gods. But yeah, you know, feel free to let me know, guys, of your suggestions to make the transition between matches on stream a little less boring, because I really can't speed it up, and I'm sorry for that, but it drives me just as crazy as it drives you crazy. But, uh, I can't really speed it up, because, you know, there's always problems with Steam and Age of Empires just in general. Uh, that uh, makes things take a long time, so you know. Let me know if there's if you have ideas to uh, improve that transition. People have suggested that I sing for them, play various games in the meantime, or just tell stories. And I'll definitely be doing a lot of that. Yes. Then we doing that a lot in the future. And of course, guys, brief disclaimer as always is you know throughout this match, I, I as always I try to focus on providing a very meaningful, informative, and entertaining commentary. So as well as reading the Twitch chat re uh, rather regularly to the best of my abilities whenever I can, so, you know, pardon me if I'm not playing my best, but I I try, I try. I should probably scout actually what's in the back of my base first before I uh, go too far out. But yeah, this should be a really fun match. I'm playing as the Britons, which I guess is my quote-unquote home sieve. Yeah, the sieve that I, I ran in the most, and they're definitely one of my favorite sieves. Although they're not particularly great at uh, closed maps like, I mean, sorry, open maps like Arabia, but uh, very, very good in closed maps, definitely. How big is the League community on Steam compared to, what, Game Ranger and other server hosting websites? Oh, you mean AoE community? Uh, I think the Steam community is massive, like, it really is, like, the amount of players who play AoE 2 on Steam is absurd, but... It, it you might think it's really small compared to something like Boobly, even though they have more players on Steam, uh, because the players uh, on AOE2 HD don't always play online, and in fact they don't they don't do it that often. Where are my other bloody sheep? Okay, so I guess my deer are all the way back there, and then there's a boar. But where are my other sheep? But yeah, uh, they don't they don't always play online. A lot of them are just single player people and, and really casual, so. You know, the, the amount of online players is smaller on Steam, but that's where the vast majority of, like, AoE2, I guess, active players are. They're just not uh, active in multiplayer. The most underused tech? Yeah. Uh, Deer Hunter? Huh. That is a tough question. A really tough question, because I don't know if you're, you're asking from in terms of, like, underappreciated, but... Hmm. I mean, definitely... I think fortified walls is very underused, but like it, it really should be used more. You know, I think fortified walls are extremely powerful. And yeah, okay, finally got my sheep. Fortified walls is is a huge upgrade and it's extremely cost efficient technology. And a lot of players just tend to skip it. Like they will build tons of layers of walls, like on Black Forest, and they just won't get fortified walls, which is pretty bad. Uh, the topic of my exams, I have, uh, I have microeconomics. I have my intro to microeconomics, my intro to poli sci, and my uh, English English exams on literature and like comprehension and all that mumbo jumbo. Really, not too exciting stuff. Uh, most of my exams shouldn't be that bad, although my econ ones should be absolutely brutal. But life goes on. Life goes on. Yeah, definitely fortified walls. I'm really feeling. I'm really feeling the fortified walls are just really underutilized for no good reason. It is ma a massive upgrade. I think walls in general are uh, not utilized uh, efficiently enough by the, uh, I guess, the non-pro community, you know? Uh, my other boar is all the way over there, okay. My lure is definitely going to be hilariously late because I was too busy focusing on answering questions. But whatever. Is that boar lure is going to be late? For those of you who are following my uh, AOE2 drinking game, I know not, not too many of you do that, but if you are, uh, you may take a drink for that one, obviously. The boar lure will be more than like, I think I said like 10 seconds late or something? 
Something along those lines. That's reasonable. Anyway, we're playing on Arena, so I'm totally going for Fast Castle Age. I mean, not only that, but I'm in the pocket, so it would be absolutely stupid of me to go for anything else other than a Fast Castle Age. Because, you know, like, Feudal Age Aggression in Arena, I mean, it goes without saying, guys, it's not going to work out. I mean, you start surrounded by stone walls, so what are your men-at-arms going to do? Like, they're the best things you have against buildings in the Feudal Age. You're not going to get through those walls. I don't know why my villager is taking the stupidest path I've ever seen to my uh, to my town center. I have no idea. The the paint huffing is real right now. Could have just walked through there, but screw it. Can't tell me what to do. I'm a strong, independent villager who don't need no unit pathing. You okay, Mr. Villager? Whatever floats your boat. It floats your boat. Yeah, I've got one below the stream. Uh, Black Magic, if you're interested. Do you think any new AOE games will be coming out anytime soon? I don't know. AOE Online did not work out particularly well for Microsoft, and I think that was... I mean, I knew it wouldn't work out. I think a lot of people were rather skeptical of it, just because... I mean, at least to me, it was not what we wanted. I think I think we all wanted... I mean, not to say AOE Online was bad, but I think we all wanted uh, something that felt like Age of Empires. We wanted an AOE 4, you know? Another, another Age of Empires game, and uh, AOE Online was really weird, because they were trying to make it into some sort of social media-esque game, you know? I wasn't feeling it at all. It was not. It was not what I wanted. I wanted the same thing that I'd, I'd been getting before, just new and improved, with perhaps some cool new twists. Something like how you know, like Age of Mythology was definitely a game, but it was just new and new and different. You know, kept things interesting. But uh, AOE Online tried to have this like, you know, perpetual empire uh, focus. You know, like things would happen while you were gone, and, and it focused a lot on the social media aspect. The graphics were not at all the AOE style. Uh, things like that. I don't know. I think they could have done... I think they probably should have just done AoE 4. So I don't know if they're going to do another AoE game, but AoE 2 HD, I, I'm pretty sure, has sold rather well. So I would be really, really hopeful in that regard. Even though AoE HD got a lot of criticism, uh, I think it was definitely overall a success. I mean, it sold like hotcakes, so... I mean, I bought it, I love it, I play it all the darn time, and... You know, for all the criticism that I give it, it's still probably one of the best things to happen to the AoE franchise in a while. Sort of showing us that Microsoft has revived their uh, their faith in the franchise, and I really do hope they uh, they continue doing stuff like this. And they said they were going to port Age of Mythology to Steam, so I mean they don't see the, they don't see the dollar signs, but they really should see the dollar signs. I would love them to do AOE four, but I I don't know if they'll do it. I'm hopeful, but uh, it might take them a while. I think they will at some point, though. They just need to they just need to know that it's a profitable endeavor, and they need to put enough effort into it. But I, but I'm, you know, I don't know. The odds of them that they're doing it is slim, but I have faith. Oh, of course, I'll be making longbow in this game. I mean, I'm the, I'm playing the darn Britons. That's what that's what we do, guys. Oh, I should really advance. My goodness, I get too, I get too distracted by answering questions, man. Alright, so we'll, be, we'll have like a slightly slower feudal age, but you know, it's all in the name of science and, and longbowmen, I guess, so not a problem. Not a problem. Let's see. If you choose a color and flavor gumball, which flavor would it be? Plank asks. Uh, I don't know, uh, like blue is like my favorite color, so I like blue. Uh, I'm not sure what flavor gumballs actually taste like they're supposed to. So, yeah, I don't know. That's a pretty strange question, sir. Also, this deer split is ridiculous. What the hell? They're like, yeah, we'll put uh, we'll put seven villagers on one deer uh, when resonance isn't looking, and uh, one on the other. That seems like a good idea, right? Yeah, let's do that. That is exactly what my villagers sound like. They're back sass. I have headed up to here. You're all fired. Put the paint down. This is no time for paint huffing. Yeah, basically, if, if the gumball plank is not the artificial banana flavor, that's awful. I like how, uh, you know, back uh, when I used to go trick or treating when I was much younger. 
Or just in general, you know, like whenever there was just candy given out, no one eats the banana Laffy Taffy because everyone knows that artificial banana flavor is not particularly great. Although some people do like it, it's just probably the weakest artificial fruit flavor, at least in my opinion. If you like it, man, I totally respect you equally. You know, different strokes for different blokes. And uh, how you like your candy, obviously, you know. I'm in favor of it, but no, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of it myself. How long is your longest AOE game? Well, I mean, the longest one I have on my channel is definitely... Is this guy stabbing me? He is. I've definitely... The longest game on my channel is that, like, four-part Chinese game, uh, which, if anyone really, really wants to, to see it, I can just go link it to people, but... Uh, or perhaps one of my mods can, although I, I can't help but notice that I have, like, no mods on the stream today, which is interesting. But, yeah, uh, I had, like, a four-part Chinese game, which was, like... I think like four hours real time is ridiculous. It took way too long. Uh, I had a, I think a five to six hour CBA game once when I was uh, back in the day. I was playing on GameSpy Arcade where I used to play a lot. I see how not to play is taking a liking to my scout. I think he's gonna kill it eventually, but I'll let you know that uh, my scout is is of the highest highest pedigree and he he shall not die easy. But yeah, I had like a six-hour CBA game. Uh, that's back when I used to play on Age of Kings. I really do strongly believe that the older CBA map versions were so good. I mean, like, what makes AoE 2 such a fun game to me, and I think modern RTSs just keep failing. Uh, that, that's why... Yeah, I keep coming back to AoE 2 even though this game is so old. It is so bloody old. But I keep coming back to it because modern RTS games, in my opinion, are too restrictive. They don't let me do whatever I want. You know, like, whereas in AoE 2, they let you do what you want, no matter how stupid it is, but they balance the game around it, and I like that more. But, you know, like, StarCraft and, and, and AoE 2, I mean, sorry, AoE 3, they're like, oh, you, uh, you can't build, you know, th this building in X location. And I'm like, what? You know, you can't build it too close to your opponent. Like, like, dude, if I want to delete my town center and build it right next to an enemy, if I want to Persian douche somebody, I should be able to do that. Like, StarCraft wouldn't let you do that, and I was like, that's lame. Like, I, it doesn't need to be viable, I just need to be able to do it. And, like, AoE 3 would only let you build walls in, like, really certain locations, and I was like, this is lame. But that's one of my favorite aspects of AoE 2. Not to say that, like, AoE 2 isn't full of awesome aspects, it, it really is. Like, there's so many, there's so much that's good about AoE 2, guys. So much that's good. It's really a shame that a game this absolutely, like, unfathomably, like, quality is... Wow, I did not want to tell much I want a wheelbarrow is bungled down by, like, a completely broken, unplayable multiplayer experience. If they could fix that, take all of my money. I would pay 60 bucks. 60 bucks for an AV2 that actually had, like, a functional multiplayer. Like, a, like a legitimately good multiplayer. Uh, one with, like, you know, lagless and everything. I don't know how much you guys would pay, but I, I, I would buy it in an instant. It would probably be the greatest thing ever. Still, I love this game regardless of the crappy, crappy multiplayer experience. I'm sure you've been asked this multiple times, but do you prefer Aztecs or Mayans? Uh, I'm definitely a more defensive player. I like turtling, I like my eco, so I'm gonna say Mayans, sir. Do you know those banana candies taste exactly like the bananas? Oh, uh, I haven't tried those, no. Have you ever played the first Cossacks game? I have not. I have not. Perhaps someday. 60 bucks is all your money, thinking you need to donate more. Yeah, I don't make any money off uh, off Twitch at all yet. Not that I make much off YouTube either, but... Uh, I actually do get I do actually do get AdSense from YouTube, which is nice. Helps pay for some expenses, but I mean... No, I don't... I don't... I need to get, a, I guess, a more consistently high-rated... Oh my goodness, Knights, a... From Rabblebach. Uh, I need to get, uh, I guess, higher viewer counts before I can get a Twitch TV partnership, but when I do, that'd be nice. Man, I don't have, uh, much cash to float around. If you do decide to donate me anything, please do leave me, like, your Twitch name or username of some sort so that I can thank you for it. At some point, I should set up something that notifies me. Uh, if you guys know, like, a Chrome app or something that will send me a notification every time I get a, a donation, that would be nice. Otherwise, I'll figure that out myself, but, uh... Yeah, leave me a name so that I can, uh, that I can thank you. Definitely. Cossacks is like Age of Empires, except with many interesting mechanics. Artillery consumes column iron for 
shooting. Ship battles are pretty cool. Well, that's interesting. I mean, as long as it's an RTS game that, like, has a strong focus on, like, a complicated economy, because I really like the eco aspect of, of AoE. And... But yeah, no, I, I'm excited for uh, Triple Brits. Oh my god. Wow, such Britons. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll definitely perhaps give that a shot at some point when I have some more free time. Right now I am rather swamped, though. I don't know, I'm just so satisfied with the current games that I have uh, that uh, it's hard for me to find room and free time. And oh, damn it, he finally got my scout. I wasn't watching, man. I wasn't watching, but he finally got me. He finally got me. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the current games I have. It's hard for me to find new you know, room for new games, but uh, definitely in the future. I really could have pulled those gold miners off. I really didn't need them, now that I think about it. I guess I'm just stockpiling meaningless gold. Completely meaningless gold. I just don't need it. You know, perhaps I'll, I'll just buy 100 stone with it. Yeah, there, that's why I was stockpiling it. it definitely wasn't an oversight. Always intentional. I'll put some more houses in the back. I actually have a little bit of space to build for once. That's nice. Uh, but that's always my problem with arenas. I never have any room to build. It's the hardest campaign ever created. I see. Oh, yeah, 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 I, uh, I did play a bit of Command & Conquer Generals. I did enjoy it, definitely. It's a shame that EA tends to have a rather mixed track record. So, Grissom, what's the point of, other, of the other player rushing knights? Isn't it a bit unreasonable to do so? I would agree to an extent. Uh, I'm trying to see if he's accomplished anything at all, but... So yes, I would say it is unreasonable, uh, because honestly, okay, well, unless he's backing it up with knights and crap, which I don't think he is, he hasn't really done anything with it yet, but should he decide to, then perhaps it is worthwhile, because, you know, if he is massing a ton of knights and he just decides to start ramming down Telemacho's walls, because uh, Telemacho's is booming, I mean, we're all booming, so then it would totally be worth it, but he has to commit to it, that's the thing, is you can't just, because you can't just straight up raid someone on arena, you have to all in them. Yeah, you have to all in people on Arena uh, if you want to win. So he's going to have to commit to this with some siege weapons, but it could be extremely, extremely potent if he backs it up with some rams. Because he needs to get through the walls. That is priority numero uno, guys. Oh, okay, fine. I won't build those houses. You big brutes! Uh. Oh, this build's dead. Damn. And I let this guy in, too, for free. Alright, alright, man. I see how it is. You win this round. Oh, I should have let that one bill spawn. I, I assume that this game is lagging much worse than it is, because it will lag at some point. Alright, more houses. What's going on? There's a street. Says a uh, exterior castle. Oh, okay, so there's the knights. Wow, so many Britons. Oh, okay, so yeah, the knights are uh, protecting the relics. Okay, I guess in that aspect, in that aspect, this is kind of worth it. Oh yeah, EA has released decent games. Don't get me wrong. I would never say that they didn't. Rip that one villager. Died young. Yeah, let me get the eco rolling, and we should be good to advance relatively soon. And uh, pump out some some scary, scary stuff. Yay, Iquilen. Yay, Bolton. Come on, 
Datum. I need to get more stuff out. Tons of stuff. I need to get enough stone for tons of castles, so I'm just stockpiling on stone right now. And we're prepping for the uh, the late game here. I would have gone for some sort of castle age aggression, but I see no point considering that I'm in the pocket. And nobody on my team is in any immediate danger. Or at least it appears that nobody is in immediate danger. Yeah, this is uh, welcome to League of Britons, guys. Okay, they are cool. I've got my I get my first castle out. Hopefully, we can kill Ram uh, Rebel Box Scouts. Cause yeah, no peeking, guys. No peeking. I think the siege workshop is done, right? So I can just go up now. Okay, I need, I need a little gold, so a little wood. Is he stabbing me again? Oh, he's doing that. Okay then. Okay, so I guess he is getting a little bit of use out of those knights. Touche, sir. Touche. Let's all be back. Okay, maybe maybe I should get town watch. Actually, why not get a little bit of extra vision? That sounds not like a bad idea per se. Definitely not a bad idea. Yeah, I know they speak Old English. I love it. Stuff like Bolden. They sound so happy. Yeah, let, me, uh, let me build a gate here as well. And just kind of wall this area off, I think. Replace all those lost vills. Oh, they died young, didn't they? Did you just say you deleted a TC, or did I just misread that? Hope I misread that. I want to saturate this gold mine on both sides, reduce the time I build to walk from point A to point B. Time to get out some archery ranges. Alright, cool. My base is, is successfully fortified. Oh right, yeah, it looks like I'm scheduled to attack with right about everybody. Everybody is getting ready, so not bad. I got this area nice and walled off. Great to success. Put some houses out there for fission, and just because I need more space to build. And let the carnage commence. Scout terminated. Alright, yeah, we're on we're on track this game. We're on track for a solid boom. Perhaps I'll get a trade caravan and just focus a little bit on getting uh, getting to the late game. Getting my ecos set up. Yeah, that farming simulator though. Does A we lag as much in Voobly? Well not not in general, but I mean you know, people will tend to, you know, be like, oh, why aren't you playing Voobly? Voobly is a completely seamless experience. It's not. But, uh, it actually is slightly better. Uh, too significantly better. It really depends on who you're playing with, because, again, it's all... I mean, AoE 2, this... The experience is as stable, I guess, as the players in that particular match, so... Provided that you don't play with people who just... Okay, just do no. Oh, I see. Provided you're not playing with people uh, who have horrible internet connections and are playing on dial-up that they haven't upgraded since, you know, like the 1960s or 70s or whatever. I don't even know if there's dial-up back then, but... Alright, we'll go with the 1980s. He's on his 1980s dial-up. Uh, provided you're not playing with those guys, your your experience on Google should be relatively nice, actually. It's not a completely seamless experience, as uh, some people would like you to believe, but it is uh, slightly better... So mostly because Voobly has, like, I guess, more fail-safes in there to make sure the players with, like, hilariously sad internet just get, like, 
discouraged from playing, I guess, because, you know, they have warnings, and they've got their, uh, whatever, like, NAT transversal thingy, or whatever that's called. So, probably, uh, it does run a little, a little better, but, I mean, the frame rate's lower, this is common sense. Maybe 2 HD, of course, has other things over it. Uh, higher frame rates, uh, Steam Workshop mods. But again, you know, they're both they're both decent. It would just be nice if we had a completely united player base. Have no goal. I have no wood either. Interesting. Two man saw is necessary for success. We require. We require more minerals. Come on, here's some gold. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We require more minerals. We require more Vespine gas. Why, wow, yeah, I, I need so much more gold. Jesus, my gold economy is bollocks. Wow, such poor. Yeah, somebody donate me some gold so I don't have to make a trash unit this whole game. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Uh, I really want Elite Longbowmen, but it's just so so expensive, but I really need to get that out. If I want to main, remain relevant, because I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford it late game, honestly. Uh, so I'll just have to save up a little bit for that. Excurms in the meantime. Oh shit. Okay, so he needs help too. Everybody needs help. You need help, you need help. Everybody gets help. Why is my gold income such ass? Oh, not Warwolf, it's a trap. Don't need it now. I need this. Wow, okay, so he's in, uh, he's in trouble. Okay, now I have wood, I just have no food. We meet again, my old nemesis crappy economy. Gee, sure it would be nice if I had room to build. situation isn't completely out of control, actually. Why is Shinchimax doing, uh, oh, I guess he, uh, he just needs to get his eco rolling, I guess. His eco's a little weak, but, oh, crap. I hate it when uh, I bump that button. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever. Let's see, I need more unit production, not that I can sustain it at all, but we'll, we'll humor myself. Maybe I should just, oh god, Jesus idol Christ, okay. And the scale mail's almost done researching. I'm gonna go with this. Kill that stupid ram. Still got no gold, why? Why do I have no gold right now? Oh cool, I'm slowly getting more room to build farms as time goes on. Oh my. Yeah, I am glad that I am investing in more barracks, because I'm clearly going to need it. Wow. Okie dokie. Need to upgrade to Helbs at some point, I just don't have the cash for it. Oh shit. The situation is looking, uh, looking awkward. I need 
Lots of barracks. My eco is getting better though. That's nice. Ah, sneaky sandwich has advanced. Indeed he has. Alright, more of these things. Get me helps. Tell me I need those. We must focus if we want to win. Can use guilds since I'm selling all my stuff 24 7. Oh, I guess smart. Okay, actually, we've got this situation almost under control now. I just need to get my uh, my helps closer to the front line, so we'll put the helps a little further up with your gather points. And how's this situation going? Looks like Tetrides is actually really doing some work, although these guys should really be moved up, I think. Max. This looks like it's going to be a really close match, actually. I don't like this. I need uh, some forge in action. Okay. Full try hard mode activated. are needed, yes. I agree, that's why I'm massing tons of them. Oh, Sycion's here! Hello, Sycion! How are you doing, sir? Oh, I should, I should be checking the Twitch chat more often, it's just... Not so many things to focus on. Well, that's cool. Uh, the Warwolf! Warwolf is a fun idea for technology. One thing that's cool about the Forgotten is they, I think they did a really good job with all the unique techs. I mean, maybe the only one that, I don't know, I mean, uh, they're all really, really cool. Really, really cool. Like, I love the idea of, like, Ironclads and Warwolf and whatnot. They, they, they change the way that you play your civilizations, I think, and I think that's what they should be doing, is opening up new styles of play. And that's what makes AoE 2 such a cool game, is that, uh, you know, they, they don't really, there's no real restrictions on your play. You can do whatever the hell you want, uh, even if it sucks. As long as, uh, you know, like, the game is balanced around, you know, not, not preventing you from doing things, but, uh, allowing you to, but making sure they're not OP. Like, you can, uh, you can do your purge and douche, but, uh, you know, it's not a guaranteed win. And that's what I like about Werewolf, is Werewolf opened up some, uh, interesting, interesting possibilities. I guess the only, you know, there's a couple strange ones in there, I guess, like the Japanese tower, uh, tower upgrade, because you know, I, I was never really incentivized to build towers on the Japanese anyway, but I guess this does create that opportunity. Uh, perhaps it is worthwhile. And there's uh, some stuff like the burning oil for the Persians, but those guys already have great tech, so I guess they didn't need uh, particularly interesting new unique techs. But that's one of the really cool things, though, about the Forgotten, is with stuff like Ironclad, is you get you get some really interesting things like scorpions with good resistances. That is uh, That is solid. I like that idea. Some very, very good ideas. You know, while the Forgotten's multiplayer experience, you know, AV2 HD in general might be a little spotty, I really do think it was. Worth every single penny. And this match is this match is going uh, actually quite successfully. Quite successfully. Oh, Saishin? Okay, my bad. <laughs> the more you know, I just assumed it was Saishion. I guess that makes more sense, actually. But anyway, yeah, thank you for stopping by, sir. I really do admire your guys' work. Forgotten Empires has really been just just awesome. I mean, after all these years, the fact that we still get uh, you know, a new expansion pack and new content is pretty awesome. And why do I have a villager in the front line that feels the need to stab things? Get back to work. This is no place for you. <laughs> I tell you, the paint huffing is strong with the bills, but wouldn't be AoE 2 if it wasn't. Paint Ooh, this is solid. Good choice of uh, light cavalry to take a DC units and skirms. Okay, yeah, looks like we've actually got this uh, the entire situation really on lockdown. I thought we were really losing this side like a minute ago. Uh, 
so it's nice that we're gonna make some steady progress. I'm gonna need some trebuchets though uh, for the slow push uh, to really push the momentum in our favor because again if you don't back your army up with siege weapons you're in for a world of trouble. Plus it's gonna take you forever to actually push anything down. Now we are gonna run into a big problem relatively soon uh, in which we completely run out of gold uh, to mine. That is inevitable. That's gonna happen really really shortly. We should run into gold mines, right? And we're gonna have to make sure that our trade line is relatively fortified. Now I've invested in my trade line a little earlier so it won't be a big issue for me, but... Hmm. But yeah, the gold is uh, definitely running out rather quickly. And it looks like I actually invested too much in farms. You guys want to try and, you know, get to the point where eco... You know, it meets your needs, right? And your needs are evolving, and if you're floating like 50,000 wood, then you might want to reevaluate the number of lumberjacks that you have. And do you really need that much wood? You know, you can allocate those villagers elsewhere. Rez, could you play one of the new civs, e.g. the Indians? I never saw someone play them. Oh, uh, absolutely, sir. Uh, I have quite a few matches of me playing. I think I've played all the new civs on my YouTube channel, so you can definitely check those out in the meantime. But I will definitely be showcasing more of that uh, in the future, so you can you can look forward to that. If there's a specific new civilization that you would just like me to try out in the future, let me know, and I'll, I'll definitely play it. I take suggestions. Because I'm pretty neutral, you know? Whenever people want to see me play, I will play. But I believe I have a couple videos of every single sleep so far. So that should keep you occupied in the meantime, perhaps. Uh, there's links to my YouTube channel is below the live stream. Okay, I gotta, I gotta move this line forward, uh, take this castle out. I would really, really like to get a blast as Britons in which I can really show the potential of Warwolf in action. Uh, because war, okay, like like mass trebuchets has always been hilarious. If you can get to a point in which you can mass trebuchets, I mean, easier said than done, right? Yeah, you know, like it's gimmicky. Don't get me wrong; it is hilariously gimmicky, but it is awesome. So if you can get to that point, you could do some great stuff. And I want to do it on Black Forest, in which there's choke points in which I can just snipe armies from a safe distance. So it's definitely on my to-do list. I just gotta get in that kind of situation. Just like Mass Monks, it would be nice to try. If I could do that, then that would be sick. Don't really need both of these mining camps. I should probably just upgrade to Onagers and just chop down some of these trees. Otherwise, we're gonna be running into some issues, I think, uh, with unit pathing at some point. Ever done a game where I have not really utilized Genoese crossbowmen too much. I've made a couple of them. I don't have enough Italians matches, so I will do more of those in the future. Uh, but no, I haven't utilized... I guess it's because I'm still trying to learn what I guess the Italians are really excel at on land. I mean, obviously they're great naval so and they have some interesting bonuses, but... Um, they're, they're pretty well-rounded, so... Uh, I'm still experimenting, but... So I haven't played too much of the Italians on my channel yet, but I will definitely... Showcase Genoese Crossman. Probably next, during the next stream, we'll play some Italians, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I need Siege Engineers. I'm crazy. This is so very important. Yeah, this is going this is going quite swell. Looks like we have actually completely... Well, very nice. Yeah, Tetridis is uh, completely taking out Sneaky Sandwich here. Of course, a great, great... Another great nickname for him. Of course, said he got out of the hood. <laughs> he should have done uh, Isis God of Spine, though. God of, uh, God of Secret Intelligence. I am not lagging, actually. I am lagging very minimally. This is absolutely abs uh, absurd. I want my money back. <laughs> I expected lag. I was told there would be lag, and there is no lag. This is an outrage. Yeah, this match is actually running pretty well. Now, like, it, the thing is, is, is that the, the way the netcode for this game is set up is it's, it's heavily based on the players in the particular match, so... If, okay, well, I guess we just jinxed it, didn't we? I was gonna say, if there's somebody, you know, who queued up for your particular match, and he's got, you know, the same dial-up connection from the 80s, and he's playing on his toaster oven, and that he somehow managed to get, like, a DOS emulator on, to install it on his toaster oven's, you know, operating system or whatever, or he stole an ATM machine, and he tried to install Age of Empires on it. Well, uh, the game's gonna run really poorly, so they'd have to get, like, dedicated servers to fix that. Well, what, I think what really needs to be done, though, is, uh, I guess, 
They need to make this so the save and restore function works correctly. That would be nice. Or that the multiplayer status screen worked correctly, because players will DC, but... You know, this is all easier said than done. This game is archaic as crap, and I... Could imagine that would be insanely difficult. But it doesn't lag all the time. Just don't play with players that have, like, 300 ping, but... You know, not, not every issue is obviously shown via ping, but... It's good to keep that in mind. This is your first, uh, Twitch stream? Well, welcome, uh, Rip Van Winkle, 228. I need to release AOE without military, like Farmville, only better. Dude, that's how I play at the beginning of most matches. <laughs> nah, I think, uh... I think booming is pretty important. I, I don't find it boring. It never gets old for me. Just cause, uh, AOE 2, you know, it's got randomly generated maps, which is pretty cool. Unlike, you know, something in StarCraft, where really, after a while, there is just the most efficient way to play particular maps, but... AOE 2 is cool. I mean, the fact that people still play this game after so long is, uh, is awesome to me. And that's really just because there hasn't been too much in the realm of, uh, in my opinion, strong competition. I think there's a huge market out there uh, that hasn't really been filled for people who really want more strategy games like this. And oh god, you jinxed it, dude. Telemachus is lagging now. He's, uh, the FPS is, is low with this one. Should raise awareness of people playing AOE on their toasters. You know what would be cool is if we could start like a charity foundation where we just people donate money uh, to buy better uh, like better internet connections and PCs for people who play Age of Empires too. Perhaps that's a thing that we could do, guys. <laughs> we start a charity program called uh, uh, No More Toasters for No More Toasters for AOE2 or something like that. Save the toasters, guys. Put them back where they belong, in the kitchen, and not in your Age of Empires 2 matchmaking. Well, I just realized that I was blocking his wall off there. My bad telemacho. Yeah, spread awareness, guys. The toasters are real, and we need to... Actually, this game has really high PC specs, like, legitimately. It might not say it does, but it does. And it's just because there's so many units on the screen, you know? I don't know why the game uh, lags increasingly as the game drags on, but I'm just assuming it's... It's not necessarily the pop cap, though, because it still lags even if there aren't uh, a ton of units, but that's part of it. Who knows? Who knows? Internet charity for AV2 probably wouldn't make more than $300. Well, let's think about it. If we spent $300, guys, to go buy a PC for some guy who is playing on his mother's toaster oven uh, that he just happened to install a DOS box on, DOS 3.0, he's finally upgraded to DOS 3.0. Uh, that would be a huge improvement, a $300 PC over, uh, potentially his microwave or whatever these guys play on. And not, not the players in this match, but I have seen some players who might still be running Windows 95, I'm not sure. <coughs> $300 is a step in the right direction, but... Now, there are a lot of people who play AoE too, you know, we, we raise awareness to save the toasters, and, uh, perhaps... <laughs> But yeah, you know, you get, I think people take it pretty seriously. <laughs> I get a lot of donations for that, uh... To save the toaster ovens. Put them back in their natural habitat. Get them out of PC gaming and put them back uh, to making toast. You never know. You never know. It might, it might inspire people. I mean, we, we could we could broaden this. It, it no longer has to just be for AOV2. You know, get toasters out of gaming. Hashtag save the toaster. See if we can get that uh, trending on Twitter. Yeah, Link do. I, I was in that position too. It's close to home, close to home. Unfortunately, his GG handback has not resigned yet, but uh, GG well played. I mean, this was actually a really, really quality match. This is, this is what AV2 is all about. And I actually played this match rather well, which is nice for a change. Because I don't typically play very well uh, on stream uh, compared to how well I normally do. That it doesn't help that my allergies are awful. Due to peak pollen season, I'm like, hey. I'm like a mucus waterfall. It is lame. Oh, I can sell tons of wood. Sign me up. If your computer is toaster technology, don't worry, deer hunter. I'm sure we'll get that charity rolling. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, all toasters toast toast. Hashtag no AOE2 player left behind. That's, that's fantastic, man. This is what I'm talking about. You get people excited, and they're like, yeah, I would really 
like to remove all the toaster ovens on my team. It doesn't matter what online gamer play. Although, now that I think about it, in order to get AOE 2 HD to not lag, we'd probably have to make it so the, uh, the charity would buy everybody, like, the Alienware computer for 2,000 bucks. Well, I guess Alienware is kind of overrated, honestly. It's all about Isis. Hashtag, shameless buys. <coughs> but, uh, <coughs> we have <coughs> we'd have to buy them a pretty expensive rig, I think. <coughs> ah, and he does resign. Well, alright. GG, well played. Really, really well played from my team. I mean, like, legitimately, and just every player in this match. I mean, Tetrides did a really good job of uh, keeping uh, Shin Chimax alive. An exceptional job, indeed, of backing him up, keeping him alive. Shin Chimax with a really, really good turtle. Uh, he was defend uh, defending for quite a while against some serious, serious pressure. And they did, they did a great push over here and just destroyed. Uh, destroyed Sneaky Sandwich, and uh, Telemacho is here also holding the line while patiently waiting for me to back him up. And eventually our combined teamwork did uh, did end up turning this, which was great. I really like his choice of units. Uh, the Hussar, the cavalry support was, was just absolutely necessary and very useful against those siege weapons. Because <clears throat> I really didn't want to invest as the uh, Britons too heavily into something like Onagers uh, or Champions unless I had to. I really wanted to save my gold for trebuchets or longbowmen because gold is limited and trade is hard on arena. Because uh, there's, you know, like, you, you, your trade cards are always going to have to be exposed when you trade from point A to point B in Arena. It's it's tough. So I really like the backer from Telematches here. And everybody played this match extremely well. Rabblebok with his early rating and, you know, how not to play Ambact and Sneaky Sandwich with the, uh, with the Macro War. So, yeah, this is what AOE 2 is all about. I had a lot of fun with this match. And I hope you all uh, enjoyed it, too. Let's share the achievements. This was a really, really good match. Of course, if you did miss any of these matches, I will upload them all on YouTube. And yeah, that match was surprisingly balanced. I, I completely agree to Trades. I had a lot of fun with that one. This is definitely a lot of carnage, and it feels good to play the Britons again, because I haven't played the Britons in a little bit. Yeah, this is what the Britons are all about. Needless to say, they two totally have counters. I mean, you can definitely deal with them, even if they're pain in the ass. Onagers, you know, put some, uh, put some units inside your rams. Uh, Lots of heavy cavalry. You need to kind of match those numbers. It's hard to compete with the opponents that have a strong late game, like the Turks, Koreans, and Britons, and whatnot, unless you have like equal numbers. So get your ecos rolling, guys. Make tons of villagers. Don't forget. Don't forget. Ah, uh, some solid trade profit. That's what I like to see. I like to see. I spent so much with this game. My goodness. My castle each time was a little bit unnecessarily slow. I probably could have advanced around the same time as. Maybe around 1630, around the same time as how not to play if I uh, didn't make like two extra villagers in the Dark Age for no reason. Well, this is a strong economy. See, guys, this is what you need for your ecos. Look at these numbers. Are you seeing these numbers? You need a, you need like half the max population to be villagers. At least 100 vills, like no matter what. And you want to get to that goal kind of ASAP. It makes a big difference. So... GG well played, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching this match. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. And if you did, you know, don't forget to leave me a like rating as well as check out my Twitch TV page, Facebook page, and Twitter page. Links are all below the live stream or in the video description to this particular video. So thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, your support is immensely appreciated. And uh, I'll be back in a few minutes to go close off the live stream and answer any last-minute questions. So... Thank you again, and stay tuned as I'll be back in a few minutes to answer your questions. So I'll see you all shortly.